Hello everyone. Today I'm going to answer a question that came in from one of our users about Cardsmith. And the question was, can we limit the number of cards that are in a column on a Cardsmith board? And I don't recall if they mentioned a Kanban style board. I think they did. Um, so one of the core um, concepts around Kanban is that we don't want to be doing too many things at the same time. And there's a whole lot of reasons for that that I'm not going to go into right now. Um, but suffice it to say that a, a best practice with Kanban is to limit the work in process. And so what happens is there's often what's called a whip limit set on a particular stage of the Kanban board. And the user wanted to know if we could set that in the Cardsmith application. And so the answer to that is yes and no. Um, a lot of Kanban tools that are specific to Kanban, such as um, like Swift Kanban or some of the other ones that, are, that only do Kanban, that don't do brainstorming and don't do concept mapping and some of the other things that you can do with Cardsmith, um, they allow you to set a very hard whip limit, which basically would say, I'm not going to let you put more than two cards into this particular column um, or cell on my grid. Um, in Cardsmith, we take a different approach. We keep it simple. And one of our philosophies is we don't want to dictate too much and we don't want to load you up with a bunch of features. So, but there are a couple of ways that you can implement whip limits within a Cardsmith board. And so I wanted to show you that. Um, this actually comes from my experience working with physical boards on walls with actual teams. And of course there was nothing preventing us from putting a card in a, in a particular column on a wall. You could squish them to your heart's content and uh, get around any sort of whip limit. So it's really, these boards work well when you have a trusted team that gathers around the board, um, either in a conference room with this up on the wall or if you're working virtually on Google Hangouts or Skype or Slack um, and work the board that way. But having said that, um, here's a way that you can implement whip limits. Um, you can do it for the entire process step as I've done here. So you can see this is my process. If, if you're not 100% comfortable with what Kanban is, we're essentially moving cards from left to right through a process. So cards go from backlog to analysis. They're ready to start, which is essentially like a buffer kind of a, a step. They're in development. Then they are ready for testing when they're done with development. And then they're actually in testing, actively being tested. Then they're ready for review. And then they're in the review stage ready. And I mean, they're actively being reviewed by somebody. So each of these stages of my process development in this board, we're saying we want to keep our limit to two projects um, for development. And that happens to be in our world here in this board two per team because we've got team one and we've got team two and they both happen to have a limit of two. Now if you wanted to have different limits by team we could create a card that would be something like this whip limit equals three and do that and you might give it a special color or something like that because you want to call attention to it and in this one I might say whip limit equals two. So that's a way to differentiate if you're using uh, a grid with rows is you can specify that in a card. A lot of times it's just um, the rule is, and, and many, many, many people go with the rule of three, which is a great thing, which you're not working on more than three projects at a time or three tasks at a time or however, whatever these cards represent for you. And then here you can see in testing, our test team is very small. It's one person. They can really only be working on one thing at a time. And so that's essentially it. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, again, I just want to stress that um, our goal here at Cardsmith is not to dictate how you do work or, or load you up on a whole bunch of features. But our philosophy really is to keep things as simple and visual while also being flexible at the same time. So let me know if you have any thoughts or questions on that. Appreciate you. Thanks. Bye-bye.